One of FireTech's missions is to help our customers be successful when it comes to NYSIT prep, as we understand how important it is for you to pass your NYSIT exam. FireTech offers fire tabs that can be placed permanently in your standard and help you easily and quickly locate important information within the standard. So these tabs are allowed to be in your standard when you go to take the NYSIT exam. I would like to show you how we recommend placing the tabs in the standard. When you receive our tabs, they will come with instructions. Read through the instructions and flip through the book to become familiar with the process and to also get an idea of how the locations of the tabs will be found. It is important to follow the instructions that you are given that come along with the tabs. Remember that these tabs are permanent. Once they are placed inside the standard, they are very difficult to remove. And if you do try to remove them, they can tear the page and usually the adhesive will come off of the tab so that you could not place them anywhere else in the standard because they would not stick again. When beginning tab placement, start at the back of the standard. That is how the instruction sheet will list the order that you're going to place your tabs in. You will not only begin at the back of the book, but also at the bottom of the page. Before permanently placing the tab, make sure that the heading on the tab matches the placement in the book. For example, the first tab that you are going to place is for Annex D. So you locate Annex D on the tab, but you also need to flip through the standard until you get to Annex D. And you make sure that that heading matches the heading on the tab and then you place it at the bottom of the page. As you continue to place the tabs in the standard, put them in without overlapping. One next to the other. So again, I'm checking to make sure that my headers line up with what's in the book and what is on the tab. And I have found that this is the correct page for this tab. I'm going to place it next to the tab below it with just a little bit of space in between and the colored part, portion of the tab starts right where the page ends there. As you are tabbing you make come across areas where more than one tab is on the same page. In this case, there are two tabs that go on this particular page. I've got the chapter 15 and then also 14 here. So I just place them right next to each other on the same page and then move on. When you come to the top of the page, if you still have tabs left, then start back at the bottom of the page. And I try to stagger the tabs so that they're somewhat in between. And that way when you go to look something up, you just grab the tab that you're wanting to grasp instead of a couple at a time. And Eventually all of the tabs will be placed. If you have blank tabs left over, then you can use those tabs to mark other areas within the standard that you might feel are important, or you can just discard them. But that is a complete tab standard. It is important to remember that tabs are designed to help you in knowing the standard better. And truly for nice at prep, it is very important to look everything up using the standard. Tabs will assist you in doing just that.